guys and welcome back to the Learn Golf with Cassie where Coach Dad teaches me drills and I teach you drills. Today we're at this Aboriginal village thing and we're just gonna have some fun and vlog it for you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. So now we're at UFO World. I UFO think. World, yeah. I'm not going on that. That is the UFO sky drop. Coaster, aren't we? We're going to go there now. Going in. The Mayan roller coaster. Okay, so this is the queue. Which is zero. Which is absolutely zero. It makes me wonder if this is like the creepiest ride ever or what. What a wonderful result. No lines. Because it's a Friday. And everybody's at school today. That really scares me. Oh yeah, it's like the vampire at Chessington. Yeah. We're about to go. Scary face. Not wow. impressed. We've just finished that ride. I banged my elbow. Banged your elbow. Tell us what happened. We went upside down, loop de loop three times. And I had no idea we were going to do that. I thought it was just going to be a straight, normal roller coaster going side by side, but it went upside down. Like it was that. pretty. It was pretty awesome, it wasn't was it? It was so fast. I didn't close my eyes once, except for the bit when it got dark. Yeah. Okay. Let's die. show a little bit of the <laughs> the tracking for everybody. That tiny bit there goes upside down there, and some of it on the there somewhere. Oh, there, there was a lot of upside down and there were some 360 spins, weren't there? So the question is, do we go on again? No. Yeah? Dad, like... Let's do it. Boom. That was absolutely mental, wasn't it? It's quite a big ride. Are you going to go on this one, Cassie? Mm, maybe not. Come on, for your viewers, for your YouTube fans. No. One time. an amazing view you can see all around the whole valley and you get to the top and then it's just a you lose your stomach up there and then it kind of comes down nice like a, a parachute it's really cool. cool well worth doing young lady we'll see we'll see
so we are now going on the cable car. Cable car. We got our own cards, which is nice, and we're going to play sweet and sour with people. So basically, um, people coming back or going forwards, we'll just like, if there's people behind us, we'll be just, just be like, hi, how are you doing? Good? And if they respond like, hi, then they're sweet, but if they just ignore you or look at you like, then you, they're sour. So yeah, we're going to play that game. So basically, on the way down, you get to see the Aboriginal forest stuff. And you get to learn about their huts and stuff like that and their culture and yeah it's pretty fun so the aboriginal parts are below us that's the aboriginal park it's pretty cool you can see their canoes i didn't realize you could oh yeah i remember those canoes and there's some over there it's just like Performing places. Really excited. This is the thing I've been looking forward to all day. Coming on the sky car. What are they call yeah. the cable car. Cable cars. I'm waiting for people to come. We're going actually pretty fast, but we haven't crossed Sun Moon Lake yet. Sun Moon Lake is, right is over, there. over on those cable cars going up there, that very high part. Okay, so we're changing cable cars now to these colourful ones. These ones take us over to the Sun Moon Lake. They go up very quickly. So we go really steep up and basically the crystal cabinet has very uh, shiny windows and a glass floor so your feet are pretty much hanging above a thousand feet drop <laughs> so yeah cool yeah that's pretty cool well, um our last person in the sweet and sour didn't wave to us but did smile so and we're wow. going over the top Woo. Look at that. oh my gosh this is scary now look um, underneath you it's scary now you can see some moon lake there's Sun Moon Lake. It's very pretty. People pay a lot to get here. Try not to drop your phone out the window. <laughs> oh wow, it's beautiful. Okay, and we're on our way oh, down God. to the bottom oh, of the <laughs> lake now. People are looking at us like, what? We keep like, hi, 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 some people are happy. No? Okay. Some people are good. There's so many people. My arms are so yeah, like five sweets and like 25 <laughs> sours. People are not like watching and waving, are they? Yes. Yeah. Hi, hi. No one's actually look. Everyone's on their phone. Okay, so here's a couple of photos of us at Sun Moon Lake before we took the cable car back to the Aboriginal village. And now we are entering the Abori Aboriginal Village part. So now we're in Taiwan, which is actually one of the tribes at our school. And we just got this bracelet from this shop, and she's actually hand making it. The lady there's making them at the moment. Like you can go in the houses, I guess, can you? You can do, you can go and see yeah, what the house looks stuff. like inside. They've I got remember. thatched roofs. And just you can see this sort of slate. Everything is very authentic. Slated walls. It's very low actually. So here's the inside of a house. But the ceilings are really Look at low. The walls. Look at the walls. They have really cool artwork and stuff. They do. I Everything think this is, is kind what... of woven. This is really authentic. This is what exactly what I remembered from when I came like six five, six years ago. Yeah. So we got the one. home burial. There's granddad buried in the home. Well, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and cooking area in in the house. Again, very basic. Why would they bury people in here? Oh my gosh. Taiwan as a society was governed by a rigid social class system, which defined both the person's status in society. Okay, so, so he looks like he's the boss. 
I'm gonna be so bad at this. Okay, okay. 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 Okay.